this. And these are going to be thick nostalgia buds. These. And these are, this is the neck. And these, these get laminated together. And this will get, this will get, this timber will get glued between, between these. Like this, these will get glued in between those. There's a laminated neck. This is the post. This is going to be thickness down to the right size and shape to the right size. It's just been bun sawed out at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Piece of the timber for the sound box. And these got to get thickness out yet. There's just been buzzed straight. These get glued together like this and round in the jig. Once we get the neck glued up and see what thickness they've got the neck, and then we'll bring these down to the thickness of the neck. So leave them, leave them as thick as you can yeah. for a start off. grain there running down here and the two eight side grains running this way so it, it's it's laminated together so it's it's for strength there's about a thousand pounds of pull on the strings so it needs to be strong Seven, twenty-nine, and the thirty-four string there. They're all the same harp, but they just get bigger. That fits onto there like that. part here right this is the weakest part so so the, the grain the grain on this part here is running that direction so those the, those are the blocks and they will glue on to the next on to on to here They'll glue onto here, in a, in a, in a, we'll just glue those on, and then we can shape them afterwards. Get so told off all the time. Yeah. Bill's get told off. <laughs> <laughs> now, how much glue are you mixing up? Are you mixing enough enough for your? I'll your do. Are you? This one will go on to here, like that, there. Yeah, the glue line does come up a bit darker, I have to admit that. But that's that's just the way it is. Some glues are red. I like it, I like it though. These, these are slightly brown, and I think uh, it's a... Good colour for it actually. Right, 
Let's see that. And then you get a much stronger bond when, when you clamp things together. Now these ones here, it's the same spacing, only it's an octave higher. This one here is, instead of, that's 105 instead of 110, so it's five millimeters smaller. This is, this is 100, and this is 95, and this is 110, where this is five millimeters an octave wider. So we need to, need, need to know this is a matter of it's the same harp, but the spring, the, 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 the spacing's a little bit different. So you, I need to know which one your daughter wants to have. Um, they, they go to work in, in the forestry. I shape it to the shape I want to get the basic shapes and then I blend it all in together. So I start from this side and I get this this is where you might appreciate this as an artist. This way you can express your artistic ability. <laughs> so to get nice and smooth lines. That's um, that's 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 uh, the I'm kind of it so it sweeps around like that. So it's um, but I've got to I've got to sand all that up nice and smooth, and then once we fit on the harp, I've got to a fine just to find adjustments to make so it fits nicely, perfectly with the top of the harp. This is the closest one. So what we've got to do is reinforce these areas here so they don't break. And I've got a 
these up. It's five. It's you're gonna put ten in. Oh, it's, flicking oh, it's five, is it? It's flicking between twenty, one hundred and twenty, and one hundred and twenty-one. This stuff gives you dermatitis if you're using a lot of it. So it pays to wear gloves. Okay. This gives the box twice as much strength, strengthens the box, um, the, the woodwork, um, because there's, um, th there's about a thousand pounds of pull, or even more than that on this, on this harp, on the strings. Now what, what they, 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 in the old days they would do was they'd have a, a wooden frame inside. They'd have a wooden frame that comes across here and down and round and fixes on the back here and there'll be a, a solid piece of wood all the way down the back of the um, of the heart to reinforce as like a backbone of the um, sound box a lot of old-fashioned people would turn around and say that um, it's not the right thing to do but it's a modern construction and I make modern harps and I make no apologies for doing this. And that stops, that stops when the strings, tension goes on, so it, stops, it stops it from pulling in. So we put two of those in. 63. Okay, so that's five into 60 goes 12, isn't it? 12. 12. So what's the next stage? Next stage is to clean up all the inside of this, clean it all up. And we, 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 plane, we plane the top of it flat to the size we want and, and we, have to, we have to take it out jig. We cut these off, cut the, 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 these extra bits off. So that's, that's the round on the uh, bottom, bottom of it and that will be, a, I'll say, a hole cut in here and the legs will go onto this. And this, this goes onto, on, on, onto the base of this, covers the, a nice plate. And then we, we, we glue, we prepare the soundboard. Take my gloves off. We, t we prepare the soundboard, which is this one here. This is the soundboard here. And, and we've got to put the strips on the back. I've got to, it's just, it's just in the rough at the moment. Oh, sorry, Lizzie, uh, from, from that thickness down to here, and also tapers out that way. So it's all in proportion to those equations. And then we cut the corners out. And we cut the tongue to suit the joint. This needs, every, every little gap and cranny needs to be filled up with glue so it's as solid as a rock. This, when we do this, we put that on there, make sure all the glue, right, let's have a look here, put it on, on the side of here, on here. Right, we need a clamp. Right, Lizzie, start clamping that up. Right. That's it. Yeah. Hold it. Clamp it up. Clamp, clamp it up. Right. All right. I want to take the book, surplus glue off that.
That should do the trick. It's just a bit of timber. No, it's not pulling it up tight. It's just the joint. Make sure the joint's up tight. Sorry. Who's that camera? Right. right, I'm going to turn this over. We've, um, we've got the sound soundboard glued on, we've got the edges glued on, and these, this is cut to size, this one here, and at the back here, so we've got to plane all this round now, all this nice and round, and we've got the whole cut out of here. I'm going to get you to do. I might, I might have a go at that. Yeah. Finish it off. There's a couple of flats here, high part, high spots. Can you feel them? Just there. Yeah. yeah. Well, These holes cut out at the back, but they've got a we've got a, a bit to do first before we can do that. But we um, we have to uh, plane plane it all. So we've got a the soundboard and everything's got to go on, and we plane the background and cut the holes out. And sound didn't cut the holes out. That's that yep. and screw that screw two screws in there. Can you get yep, get two So they've got to be cleaned up. Yep, you want the glass in there? Yeah, and you can clean those up. That's a good job, that one. The neck and the post, and we're gonna we'll mark out for the neck and drill the holes. So that's C D E F G A B C D E F G A B C D E F G A B C D E F G A B C D E F G A. That's right. Go so from C to A. Let's just see how far these nails are out. Oh, they're pretty good, eh? They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Use. Um, uh, those, those, those three size pins. These ones, these ones, and these ones. So we need seven of those, and we need a few of these. Uh, well, there's different size um, things, and then we need some of these.
right. Thanks. They'll be glued in for, into those holes. So they'll be solid as well. The, these are a, a nylon. It's a really hard nylon that's used, engineers use for bearings. So it's, it's, quite, it's quite a strong material. <laughs> so I think it is necessary, that's why I do it, but some people say it's not necessary. So you'll need to, um, once that's all, once it's, once it's pulled over and everything's happened, we'll, we'll, we, can, we can check the, check the, um, we'll check the, uh, 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 That's okay, 525. This one here should be about 800. Yep, it's 800. This one is 320. Yep, yeah. 9, 900. Okay, watch this 140. Some of them should be 100. Some it should be 140. Is this this one? 125. That's 140. Okay. It's these measurements and pin here, eh, Dad? From the top of here to the middle. Oh, okay. So it's coming right up to yeah, there. Yeah, from the top of there to the middle. The, the, these are nylon strings, and, and you do get more of a harsher, brighter sound out of nylon than gut. Gut gives you more natural sound, gives you more mellow, and it has qualities that nylon doesn't have. But they're, they're, you, you can spend up to $800 just for a set of strings for a harp uh, in gut. So 
um, once she gets used to playing and she gets used to the harp, she can, she can, in the future, she can upgrade the harp by putting gut strings on. But the, 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 the harp in two years' time will sound like a completely different harp. It will, it, will, it, will, it will get its singing voice. It takes about two years for it to get its singing voice. My harps. 